All right, today we're going to make metal covered dog tags. Now in the studio we have three different sizes of dog tags. As you can see this little mini one, regular size, and this jumbo dog tag. So we're going to start today with a jumbo size dog tag. And you've got several different options uh, to get texture into your plate. Uh, the one that I'm going to show you first is using the 10 Second Studios texture plates. These are generally double sided, so you've got two options of texture here. Um, some of the, of the older versions of the plates are just single sided where you only have one texture on it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing a crown on one of ours. We're going to take some of this 40 gauge aluminum uh, foil. This is tooling foil, so it's not like aluminum foil that you use for food. Um, it's much thicker, 40 gauge and we're going to um, apply, we're going to put our dog tag on one side of it and we're going to score around the edge so that we can see exactly which space we need to fill in. So let me take a second to go over the tools that we're going to be using today. We've got these um, tools that we can use. They're Teflon tipped tools and mainly the one that we're going to be using is the one with this pointy end on it. These tools also come in a smaller size, so if you're in the studio and you're looking for the tools and you can only find the smaller ones, that's fine. The smaller ones get into smaller spaces. We're working with pretty large design today, so we're going to be using that. We're also going to be using a paper stump um, with a pointy end on it. We use this for lots of different things, but it should be found in the metal tools drawer. Um, paper stump. We're going to need a pair of scissors. Um, we're going to need a double-sided tape. We're using the Sukwang score tape. Uh, you're going to need a jump ring to finish off the top of your dog tag and perhaps ball chain to turn it into a nice necklace. Alright, so here's where we get started. We're going to, like I said, put the dog tag on the back side of the metal and score around the edge so that we can see exactly where it is that we're putting our texture. And set the dog side tag aside for a moment and decide which design we want to put on our tag. I think I'm going to go for, um, how about this one right here? So it's upside down for you, but it's right side up for me. And I'm just going to lightly press my finger on the design so I can see where I get it on here and make sure that I have it centered the way that I want it to be centered. Then I'm going to firmly hold down with one hand my metal and then I'm going to go over the design basically just kind of color over the design with my paper stump to get all this detail to show up on the metal kind of going over around the edges making sure that I get all of that detail to show up on the front side of my metal I'm not moving the metal off of this piece but before I'm done. I want to come around. So this is, I basically got the design showing up on the front of my metal. And that's fine. But I want to refine around the edges now. So I'm going to take this pointy tipped Teflon tool and I'm going to come around and trace around every bit of this design. And that's just refining my metal. Be careful not to push too hard. You can actually poke through this metal. It's pretty thin. But if you do it gradually, if you press down gradually, you're able to work the metal so that it stretches without tearing or, or uh, poking a hole through it. Okay, so I'm just refining every little bit of this. I'm careful not to color on the surface. That just leaves marks and it doesn't really refine. It just kind of shows scratchy marks on the surface. So I'm not coloring this in, I'm trying to follow the design and press it in. Okay, if I'm happy with the way that this looks at this point, which I'm not quite yet, okay, then what I want to go ahead and do is um, I want to sand the surface. Well, it's still on this plate. It gives it lots of support so that I'm getting mainly the high points. I'm taking a little sanding block. This one's been cut down. Normally they're about this long. So I'm taking the sanding block and I'm sanding the high points of my design. So those will turn to silver while the rest of it 
will go, will stay the, the pink color that this metal was. Okay. Um, and to clean the, the sanding bits off the surface, I just take a baby wipe and wipe over it. All right. So now I have my, I'm trying to not get the glare on it. There we go. Now I have my crown embossed into the, into the front of the dog tag. I can take some, a, another texture tool, another texture plate and add texture up to the top up here. And that is the reason for using the texture plates and doing it by hand. I'm going to show you another way to do this, um, where you get an all over texture and you don't have to do it by hand. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of these cuddle bug texture plates. Um, this is a, a texture folder, embossing folder, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to trace our metal, um, place it on the back side, trace around it so that we know exactly where it is that we're putting our texture. Okay. This time I'm going to cut it out. I'm not cutting it out to the edge right now. I'm just using this as my guideline for where I want to place the metal. So let's say I wanted to, hold it so you can see. Let's say I wanted to do the letter S centered on here perfectly. I can see exactly where, can you see that? I can see exactly where the letter is going to be placed once I run it through the plate. Now, on these texture plates, I also want to be careful um, to pay attention to which side is raised and which side is sunken in. The raised side is going to emboss the surface or make it raised on the surface and if it's sunken in behind my metal it's going to deboss or make my metal sunken in on the surface. So this I've, I've turned it correctly so that it's going to be embossed. I'm going to have this letter S is going to be raised up on the surface and everything else is going to be sunken in. And I'm placing this texture plate between two um, these are old and worn off, but these are both plates that are marked B. And I'm also going to sandwich it with the plate that's marked A, which is this nice thick. So this is the sandwich that you're going to have. I'm going to take this cuddle bug tool and run this sandwich through the machine. Easy as can be. It barely gives any resistance. You almost think, oops. You almost think that you're not doing anything at all. Let's straighten this back up. There we go. Um, but you are. You're applying just enough pressure to hand, I mean, to emboss this piece of metal. And there you can see how nice and crisp that is without using any hand tools at all. Again, I can sand the top, the high points of this. down so that I get some definition there. And there you can see, you can really see that S pops out. Um, then at this point I can take, probably the easiest thing to do is only cut this once. I'm going to put some of this tape on the back side of my metal, trim it off, and then trim out. I can still see exactly where I had my lines before. I'm going to trim the piece out. I can peel, this is double stick tape, so I can peel the, the paper liner off the back and stick it down to the dog tag. Okay, then all there is left to do is poke a hole through the top. Usually I would take a hole puncher, a cuddle bug tool, I mean a crocodile tool to do a nice clean hole punch, but I didn't put one of those right here beside me, so you just use what you have at hand. Poking through the hole with your scissor. Kind of smooth it down with the sanding block, just get any rough edges off of there. is what I get for not having the right tools at hand. All right, and then all you have to do is put your, your uh, jump ring through. You 
uh, feed it onto your ball chain and you've got a decorative dog tag right here with uh, colored metal. Um, same thing with this one, I would just put the tape on the back side of it and apply it to my larger dog tag. Sometimes too, these are nice um, stacked and you can use a larger one over top of a smaller one. Sometimes I do them with contrasting colors. Um, but that's it. That is a metal covered uh, dog tag. All right. Thanks for watching.